reporting in Dalton, South Suburban Dalton, Dalton in Dalton, in Dalton, more drama in Dalton tonight. <laughs> talk about this political showdown in a south suburban community residents and trustees in dalton passed a resolution calling for an investigation into the mayor's administration and spending but the mayor vetoed that resolution nbc 5's christian Farr has reaction from dalton and a look at what happens next we can always expect for the administration to use a lot of smoke and mirrors. Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood says she and a majority of her fellow village trustees will not stop in their fight to save the village. For the past several months, Norwood says certain trustees have been prevented from seeing Dalton's financial statements. Calling for an investigation of Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Which is why last month those trustees passed that resolution during a special meeting where Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard was not in attendance. We feel that it's extremely important to have the authorities come in and force this administration to provide us with the information needed so that we could provide it to the residents regarding how the money is being spent. I must let the public know that the actions of the board are illegal. Yesterday, during a regular scheduled board meeting, Mayor Henyard vetoed that resolution and before doing it, listed all the good things her administration has done for the residents of Dalton. We help pay your light bill, gas bill, water bill. We even help you bury loved ones. We even did a mortgage and rental assistance, which was really, really dope. But when they still had access to Dalton's financial statements, Trustee Norwood says the village was $7 million in debt and suspects that that number has grown since then. Trustee Norwood says some vendors have been coming to them to figure out how to get paid. And the latest bill came from a vendor contracted to make posters. The mayor plans to poster around town with her picture on it, with cute sayings. And we're saying, hey, how can we afford this if we're in a deficit? Trustee Norwood and the other trustees who supported that investigation hope to override the veto by their next board meeting on April 1st. In Dalton, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. The misuse of funds is among the many allegations discussed in South Suburban Dalton today. Residents got a chance to tell village trustees what their concerns are, including a multi-million dollar deficit and multiple lawsuits the village is facing. NBC5's V. Went has the story. Dozens of Dalton residents filled this room at Lester Long facility Saturday morning for an event with the trustees, the special guest speaker, Dr. Nicole Scott. We just got to keep pushing forward. She's the founder of American Association of Single Parents and says she's been running into problems with the village over plans to renovate her property downtown and to expand their food pantry, Free Indeed Market. Last year alone, we served over 20,000 individuals mm -hmm. and we need to expand and they will not allow us to do that. Since last July, she's been trying to get approval for permits and licensing from the village with no movement, she says, and now believes Mayor Tiffany Henyard and her administration may have special interests in her property. I think their goal and hope is to uh, take the property from us to get it through eminent domain. NBC5 reached out to the village of Dalton asking about Scott's specific case. The village administrator telling us in a statement, quote, we are deeply disturbed by Dr. Nicole Scott's false allegations. She has not fulfilled the requirements in order to secure permits by the village of Dalton under the village code. He goes on to cite property tax issues and says the property has also failed multiple inspections. What they're saying is not true. It took them six months to tell me that the things that I submitted were not sufficient. And I think that that is a, a stall that is them trying to, you know, wake me out. This comes amid allegations from residents and trustees over Henyard's misuse of public funds, lavish spending, and mispayments to vendors. Several trustees telling NBC5 the village faces a growing $7 million deficit and multiple lawsuits. Some residents voice their frustrations and concerns over the current administration. Guys, we need to take the heart and put it back in dollars. Not only is it not entertaining, 
it is an injustice to the people who have known we need to take our village back. Meanwhile, Dr. Nicole Scott says she is trying to raise money to hire an attorney to take her fight against the village to court. Reporting in Dalton, V1 NBC 5 News. More drama in Dalton tonight. Several trustees are calling on the mayor and another village trustee to resign. Both are at the center of an investigation. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop started working on this case six months ago. She joins us now with more on what she's learned. Regina. I'm Marion and Stefan. Oh, we have copies of complaints accusing Mayor Tiffany Hanyard and an unnamed Dalton trustee of sexual harassment, retaliation and discrimination. And the Department of Human Rights tells us it is investigating. At the center of it all, a trip they all took last year to Las Vegas and a sexual encounter one woman says was not consensual. There are six elected trustees on the Dalton Village Board. Some of them joined Mayor Tiffany Hanyard last May on an economic development trip to Las Vegas. It was on that trip that the mayor's now former assistant claims she was the victim of an unwanted sexual encounter carried out by an unnamed Dalton trustee. She filed this complaint with the Department of Human Rights. According to the woman's complaint, after having dinner with the unnamed trustee, she started to feel disoriented. Then she blacked out. The next morning, she woke up in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there experiencing physical discomfort. Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Mayor Henyard's security detail at the time, also filed a complaint with the Human Rights Department. He also went on that trip to Vegas and says in his complaint, the unnamed trustee called him on the phone and told him he had unprotected sex with the woman. In the complaint, he says he recorded some of their conversation. According to both complaints, the woman says when she told the mayor about the incident, the mayor said if this information became public, she'd be ruined all the work she'd done would be lost. The ex-employee says the mayor told her she would take care of it and to trust her. Days later, according to her complaint, the woman was put on unpaid medical leave without her consent. She was later terminated. Trustees Tammy Brown, Kiana Belcher, and Brittany Norwood did not go on that trip to Vegas. By a show of hands, how many of you knew about these allegations? They tell NBC5 they're stunned to learn about the investigation by the Department of Human Rights and the allegations made by the mayor's former assistant. That could have been any one of us. That could have been either trustee. That could be anybody. I'm furious. This makes no sense. I'm hurt and I'm furious. That, that means that these people have known about this for some time. That's the, it's almost a year later. The biggest fear is always how far is this going to go before someone gets hurt? And now I feel like this is what it's come to. The trustees say the mayor should have immediately launched an investigation. They're calling on the mayor and the unnamed trustee to resign. For you to cover up something like this, allegations of someone doing this to someone, is horrible. And you cannot leave the village of Dalton under these circumstances. Everybody involved, if you hold a position, you should resign immediately. There's already enough shame being, being brought to this village. How much more? How much more? In a statement, trustee Jason House says he did not go on that trip to Vegas. NBC5 reached out to the two remaining trustees for comment, but didn't hear back. The village, in a statement, told NBC5 it conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations led by an independent third-party company. The statement goes on to say former police officer Miles was interviewed and denied knowing anything about these allegations, and the alleged victim refused to cooperate with our investigation. The statement continues, this is nothing more than two disgruntled village employees trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. The village looks forward to defending these allegations and pursuing all other available remedies to the village. To clarify, Byron Miles is still a Dalton police officer. Now, we asked the trustees if Officer Miles should have done more if he knew an unwanted sexual encounter occurred. They told us they're still digesting the allegations. And NBC5 did reach out to the attorney for Officer Miles and the alleged victim for a statement. Marion and Stefan still a lot of work to do with this story. All right, Regina, we know you'll be on top of it. Thank you so much. A South Suburban official tonight says if the allegations against Dalton's mayor are true, she should step down from the two government positions she holds. He told that to our Regina Waldrop, who was at tonight's Thornton Township Board Trustees meeting. We in the news every single day. Referring to herself as super mayor. Hey, I'm the first. I'm the first super mayor. Tiffany Henyard had lots to say during Tuesday night's Thornton Township Board of Trustees meeting. 
but she left without taking any questions. To, uh, Vegas mayor. NBC5 obtained copies of complaints accusing Mayor Henyard and an unnamed village of Dalton trustee of sexual harassment, retaliation and discrimination. And the Department of Human Rights tells NBC5 it is investigating. The complaints are focused on what allegedly happened on an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. The mayor's now former assistant claims she was the victim of an unwanted sexual encounter carried out by that unnamed Dalton trustee and as a result filed this complaint. According to her complaint after having dinner with the trustee, she started to feel disoriented. Then she blacked out. The next morning, she woke up in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there, experiencing physical discomfort. Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Mayor Henyard's security detail at the time, also filed a complaint with the Human Rights Department. He also went on that trip to Las Vegas and says in his complaint, the trustee called him on the phone and told him he had unprotected sex with the woman. In the complaint, he says he recorded some of their conversation. According to both complaints, the woman says when she told the mayor about the incident, the mayor said if the information became public, she would be ruined, that all the work she'd done would be lost. The ex-employee says the mayor told her she would take care of it and to trust her. Days later, according to her complaint, the woman says she was put on unpaid medical leave without her consent and later terminated. At Tuesday night's meeting, Thornton Township trustee Christopher Gonzalez called the allegations um, serious. It's just unacceptable. It's disgusting. I mean, if that's true, you know, that there was uh, an assault happened and then it was tried to whatever. I mean, I'm not exactly sure, but um, if there was attempt at a cover up or something like that, then like I said, yeah, that's just unacceptable. Gonzalez says if the allegations made against the mayor are found to be true, she should step down from both of her positions as mayor and Thornton Township supervisor. If, you know, all these things come to uh, where they've been proven and, you know, action has been taken, I mean, I don't see how, you know, which could continue as a township supervisor. As for Dalton, the Village Board is expected to meet Monday night at 6.30. Reporting from South Holland, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Tonight, Dalton residents have a chance to get some answers about a controversy surrounding their village leaders. The mayor is expected to address an investigation into a trip to Las Vegas that sparked serious accusations. NBC5's Regina Waldrop on the story for us. She joins us live in Dalton tonight with much more. Regina? Now, Allison, that trip to Las Vegas happened last year. It is listed as a discussion item on tonight's agenda. Many of the residents I talked to said they plan to be here hoping to get some answers about these serious allegations. Concern is growing among residents in South Suburban Dalton. It's just too much rumor about it. It's too much negativity. Something has to be done. Dalton needs help. Everybody needs answers to what's going on. Mayor Tiffany Henyard and an unnamed village trustee now at the center of an investigation by the Illinois Department of Human Rights. The probe is focused on what allegedly happened on an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. On that trip, Mayor Henyard and a handful of village reps, including two village trustees and her former assistant who filed this complaint, we're not naming the woman because NBC5 does not name people who possibly were a victim of a sexual assault. According to the complaint, the woman felt disoriented, lightheaded, and ultimately blacked out after dinner with the unnamed adult and trustee. She says she woke up in the trustee's bedroom, physically uncomfortable and with no memory of how she got there. The complaint details a conversation between the woman and Dalton police officer Byron Miles when they returned from Las Vegas. Officer Miles, who was a member of the mayor's security detail on that trip, says the trustee claimed he had unprotected sex with her. Miles has also filed a complaint with the Department of Human Rights. According to both complaints, the mayor said that if this information became public, she'd be ruined. The woman says she was put on unpaid medical leave and later terminated. Mary Avant, who has lived in Dalton for almost 30 years, says if the allegations are true, action needs to be taken. If it's true that she tried to cover it up, she needs to step down. She needs to step down, period, but she needs to step down pending this investigation. In a statement to NBC5, the village says it conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations led by an independent third-party company. The statement goes on to say this is nothing more than two disgruntled village employees trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. The village looks forward to defending these allegations. And again, a lot of residents that I talked to today said they plan to be here for tonight's special meeting. It gets underway at 630. And of course, we will be here as well. That's the very latest from Dalton. I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. 
Tonight, in South Suburban Dalton, residents got the chance to address the controversy surrounding embattled Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Complaints include sexual harassment, retaliation and discrimination, and a controversial trip to Las Vegas last May. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop was at tonight's meeting in Dalton. A concerned community seeking answers. I know you're going to ask for an investigation. I'm hoping that means the administration will have nothing to do with it. Mayor Tiffany Henry was absent from this special Dalton Village board meeting. She and a village trustee who is not named are at the center of an investigation by the Illinois Department of Human Rights. The probe is focused on what allegedly happened on an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. Henyard's former assistant who filed this complaint claims she was sexually assaulted by an unnamed Dalton trustee on that trip. We're not naming the woman because NBC5 does not name people who possibly were a victim of a sexual assault. In a statement, the village told NBC5 it conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations led by an independent third-party company. The statement goes on to say this is nothing more than a disgruntled village employee trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. Trustee Jason House says the village board knew nothing about that investigation and are now asking for their own independent investigation into what happened on that trip to Vegas. We are also seeking direction to ask our attorney to find an independent body that has subpoena authority to conduct an investigation so that way we know it's independent, it's thorough. We really feel like this puts the village at complete jeopardy because this trip, uh, this was a village paid for a trip. And when it comes to finances, trustees who were here tonight say they recently won a court case getting the clerk's name back on the village bank account. They say it had been improperly removed. The next Dalton Village board meeting is set for April 1st. Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News.